just me and my guitar Here from Mark's Aquatics. Today we're down on a Corblitz beach and we're going to be looking across and we're going to be looking through this tidal pool here which stretches all the way across and all the way behind me. There's some fantastic little nooks and crannies around in here full of anemones stuck all over the rocks different types which are all closed up at the moment because uh, the tide's out but the tide's on the turn now so we've got a certain amount of time to go checking around and see what we can find. All different types of seaweed here through this little this little gully way all types of little spongy little critters and creatures lurking little limpets lurking all over the place in these little cracks and crevices might come across a few little crabs and different things along those lines and the further we get down a nice little winkle shell there Wizard about what I'm going to do is I'm going to have got my net and I'm going to put my net underneath all this weed and we'll see what we can catch. I've got my net over there and the now I've got to watch out around here because you get these fish called scorpion fish or bullets as we call them over here. Well, there's a nice little a nice little find there, a nice little snake lock and enemy. Absolutely beautiful they are, flowing away and they they are quite strong stings. They'll sting if you if you touch it on your forearm because you're. It's, it's quite thin on your forearm, your skin, but if you touch it on there, as soon as it feels that protein from my finger, it really does hang on, see? It really does stick. But you don't get any stings whatsoever through your fingertips. You can't feel a thing through there. And there's the old uh, anemone there as well. The old jellies, as we call them. Lots of different things and beautiful uh, different colours of weeds. And especially down in here, some lovely like light pink colour there as well. And some nice fern looking green stuff down there as well. A lot of this stuff has comes up in this tidal pool, like this one here. And they really do put up with a battering over the uh, over the beach. If you look out there, it's quite a nice day. And you, as you can see, it really does, uh, you imagine the waves coming in here six to eight feet high in a storm or maybe even bigger, crashing straight in right the way over the top of these rocks here, which is when we get the surfboards out. Right, so we'll have a look around and see what we can find today. I'll grab my net and we'll get to it. I think what I'll do is I've got a little bucket up here and I think I'm going to have a mooch around first and then I'll I'll see what I can find in the pools and then I'll get back to you and we can go out somewhere and we can individually show you what we've caught and then we can release it back into the pool, okay? Okay guys, we've got a good selection now and as you can see that tidal pool now is, is starting to fill up again as we come around this side you can see the surfs are coming in all the way along and then coming back up and feeding into the pool here that we've just been into. I'm going to get the uh, the bucket now. We had a, some really we had a really good find, and I'll just set you up now and we'll have a look. Okay. There you go, guys. We've got a nice little selection there. We've got a couple of uh, scorpion fish, which is that guy there, and a smaller one there. We've got a little tiny ras, baby ballon ras, up in that corner there. We've got a couple of blennies, different types. What I'm going to do is I'm going to individually lift them out so you can have a quick look. And then we've got this stunning little rock pool right here, which we can put them back into for when the tide comes up. And then they can all do what they want and swim back out to sea. There's lots of cover in there for them to hide from any seagulls or predators that may be uh, looking out for them at the low tide. There you go. I just come across a lovely little family there. Nice chap and his two daughters just came to have a chat with me. And I just took them through uh, what we had in the bucket here and they were all interested and uh, stayed around for a couple of minutes which was nice. So what we've got in here now, I won't take them out, I've just decided we're going to leave them in here. But we've got a lovely bullhead up in that corner there. We've got a smaller one, bullhead or scorpion fish, we've got some stunning blues on the sides, I'm not sure if you can, if you can see. We've got these little blue flecks by the tail. And just below the dorsal fin there, they've got some stunning little 
little blue spots. Here we've got a little gang of shrimps, which are the uh, Paliamone longatus. Or actually, I think they might be the um, Paleomonseratus. I think they are. Beautiful shrimps. One of them there, he's, uh, he's a right chunk, he is. And we've got a little tiny Ballon Ras, which you can just see nipping up and touching the surface of the water there. Absolutely beautiful little baby Ballon Ras. And we've got a little gang of Blennies, little Shannies in the corner there, all different types and colours. Some real stunning little colours in amongst that gang. So I think what we're going to do is we've kept them in here quite long enough now. I do keep on replenishing the salt water in there. But what we've got to watch out with these guys here, they are venomous. They have got spines on the, on the side of the gill cases. Which are right around there. You can see those little lumps there sticking out the side of their head. They've got some little venomous spines on there. And there's the smaller one in the corner there. You see he's got a little bit more, slightly different colour, but they do transform. So they take on the colour of the background. So he's doing his best. But we've got predator and prey in the tank here, so uh, we best let them go. I'll give you a look at this big, this big shrimp here. I'll show you how big he is to my hand. If he wants to stay in my hand. Without getting stung. There he is, look at that. That's a stunning little guy there. Lovely blue legs with those orange knees, knee joints. So we'll take him back now and we'll place him Oh, in the water. Here he goes. Going back to the deep. Go on, mate. Have a nice day. Thanks for letting us see you. And the rest of these, I'm not going to chance handling them because I don't fancy a sting. So what we'll do is I'll take you down. I'll just float that a minute. And I'll just, so you guys can watch them swim out. There goes the little wrasse, there goes one of the prawns, there goes the other prawn, little snakehead, oh sorry the snakeheads, here comes the bullhead, he's off back to the seaweed. Fantastic. What else have we got in there? Oh, here comes a bit of a wave. Fabulous stuff. Oh no, look, there's a little blenny. All the little blennies are still stuck in the pot, so uh, it's actually a very nicely coloured one, that one. Off you go, my little friend. Blennies have got little sucker fins on the on the underside of them because they love the tidal regions and it helps them to, to hang onto the rocks. There he goes. And there's one of the little ones there, look. Well, that wasn't a bad little mooch around in this rock pool. It's been an absolutely lovely day down here today with my daughter and my wife. Been creeping around, seeing what else we can find. And if I come across, what I want to do is I'm going to go out into the surf in a minute and um, we'll see if there's any little place, a sole, any little flatfish family which are lurking around out in here. I tried to find some in this pool here because they normally are in here. But you normally find them by treading on them and they wriggle away under your feet and scare the life out of you. So, uh, and I haven't done as that as yet. But uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys. If there's anything else I find that's any, of any interest, okay? Oh well guys, I had a good look around. I couldn't find anything else of any interest for you guys to see. So I'm going to call it a day there today. As always, you're all stars. Cheers for tuning in. It won't be long now, Sunday, and I'll be back in my workshop and we'll be making stuff again. But... Uh, I thought you might enjoy these uh, few days of different videos, different things to see. As always, you're all stars. Love you all. Look after yourselves. I've just got a wet bum, and I'll see you on the next edition of Mark's Aquatics. Bye for now. Just me and